So guys, we got this beautiful video from uh, Sunny Delight, volume 20, called How Primitive Building Videos Are Staged. All right, very interesting. Now, personally, I've watched those before. They're pretty cool. They put the, you know, they dig the hole in the ground and they do it like with, with a small shovel that I used to use digging up sand and then they will throw it 40 miles away and then they'll do the same thing with that shovel and they'll put water into it to make a grotto or a gringle. I don't know what the hell it's called. I don't know, whatever it's called. And they'll do all these crazy things. Lately, though, I've been watching those cow videos where they get the hooves. And they get like a separation under the hooves. They get an infection. So they have to like, like carrots. So, but yeah, so the, let's watch. Almost every single primitive building channel is underpinned by countless different lies. And we've got tons of evidence to prove it. I mean, listen, I don't blame them. That, that stuff looks hard. Now we need to email from a cameraman who works for one of these channels. Put an emphasis on the fact that this is most primitive building channels and certainly not all of them. After sifting through forum post upon forum post about the way. Almost every single primitive building chances about the ways in which these primitive builders lie in order to generate sometimes up to 500 million views hey. per video, users continue to mention one name over and over, crediting him as legitimate amongst the sea of phonies, primitive okay. technology. The 10.4 million subscriber channel, which is run by an Australian yeah. named John Plant, basically invented the primitive construction genre, all the way down to the sound design of silence mixed with rainforest noises, with primitive technology even stating in a Reddit AMA that originally it was out of laziness in not putting narration in the videos, but then the silent format became popular, so I kept it that way. When going okay. back to the beginning of these silent, relaxing videos, it becomes pretty obvious as as to why they're credited as seeming pretty legit in terms of authenticity. Primitive technology cuts no corners in showing how each stage of the construction is completed legitimately. For example, when examining his very first video- Well, it'd be kind of cool though. I mean, this is one thing that they could do to prove that it's all legit. Um, one thing they could prove that it's all legit is they could just film everything. They already do film literally all of it and then like put that up on like Patreon or something. Um, and then they just like edited it down for a little video. Video, he shows the axe head being sharpened, a log then being cut by the axe, then the logs being crafted together in a way that feels realistic. All of this is okay. accompanied by specific captions explaining what's going on in that very moment, alongside- bro, I feel like the big bad wolf could blow that right down, bro. A full description of the build, all the way down to how long the construction process took. His builds never include swimming pools or anything over the top, yet feel impressive as they seem to be on the cutting edge of what is and isn't possible to build by hand. The legitimacy of some of his more impressive builds, such as- where do he get the bricks? See, it's not real, dude. You can't find, what do you find? Wild bricks? I got them. I caught them. I got them, guys. This brick hut can be supported by YouTube comments such yeah, as this one stated, it. I actually know John personally. He was a really good friend. We live in the same town, although I haven't seen him since he went viral. I have fond memories of him telling us that- <laughs> He got the ha ha out. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he made me giggle. He just like stopped. He didn't highlight the ha ha, which makes sense, but it's just silly. He was building huts out bush uh, and had no idea they were so legit before going on to credit him as a pretty authentic guy. And the LOL? <gasps> Come on, bro. You're taking this guy's whole cadence away. From a personal relationship standpoint. Well, this is incredibly important to understand as Primitive Technology's video set a baseline for what should and shouldn't be achievable in a natural setting. Additionally, Primitive Technology has been kind enough to provide us with a statement, which will be referred to as we look at the channels on the other end of the spectrum, also known as the fakers. Whoa, that guy's a truck. The fundamental problem with the genre is that with so much time between camera cuts, there's plenty of time to set things up illegitimately. And with True. Primitive Technology's very first video receiving over 44,000 Reddit upvotes and 30 million views, it's no Damn. surprise the copycats with less integrity began to pop up left, right, and center. On hey, listen, can you blame them, dude? On these channels, the buildings were taller, the slides were longer. What? What is this? How could you even make this? Who would even believe this is real? I've never seen these before. I've seen other ones, but like not like this. And the water was suspiciously more blue. And to be a blue color, why is it so blue? Probably because it probably couldn't die in something. There's no reason for it to look so blue like that. Even more interestingly, almost all of these channels range from the Interesting. Imagine getting caught just because you put dye in your water when, like, you know what I mean? You could just use regular water. Exact same area being Cambodia, Thailand, or Vietnam, yet often geotag the United States, claim to be living in the United States, and have their social blade country set to the United States. The overall production uh... and build quality on these channels is arguably far more impressive than the OG primitive technology, to the point where you have to ask yourself, are they really creating these structures out of mud and sticks? Well, when you do a little bit of research, the answer to this question is most certainly no. The best evidence for this is found when looking at a 5 million subscriber channel called Primitive Technology Idea, whose failure to cover up the ways in which they fake their videos make them almost comical to watch. Take for example this episode what did he say? Whose failure to cover it took me three hours to sharpen this axe blade. the ways in which they fake it doesn't even look sharp. Their videos make them almost comical to watch. Take for example this episode titled Building hey, Underground Water Maze Crocodile to the Secret Underground House and Swimming Pool in which the first shot shows two men digging on the surface then in the next frame they're in an eight foot deep trench. I, I mean hey listen I mean I don't know. Now, if they're digging this deep with sticks, how are they avoiding large rocks and potential tree roots from, you know, the massive line of trees seen just behind them? Are they 
That's actually a good point. Yeah, sure. Being assisted by large machinery. Well, we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, let's focus on the idea that it's only two people doing these impressively large primitive construction projects. If Are they just stealing baby eggs? Damn. You think they're fertilized and they're going to eat the actual baby? Isn't there like some country that like it's a delicacy to eat fertilized fucking eggs or something? It's disgusting. What is that called? That's what they were attempting to portray. It probably would have been best not to include the clip where a guy in a white t-shirt can be seen working on the project in the background. <laughs> what the fuck? That's funny. What? Pray, it probably would have been best not to include the clip where a guy in a white t-shirt can be seen working on the project in the background. Oh, damn, dude. Why did they make fake alligator or crocodiles? I don't know the difference. Why did this seem so over the top to even include, especially if you're not done with your build yet? Like, Yet, if it were just these three guys, that still wouldn't be that bad. However, further evidence suggests that they have far more help than this. At the start of the week, a community post was made on this channel in the hope that someone who had worked with one of these primitive builders would be willing but you made the community post. Why just say a community book? Okay, willing to share their experience. Hey, legends, looking to chat with someone who would be willing to share their experience working with or owning any of those bizarre primitive pool building type channels. Alternatively, if you have some unique, undiscussed insight into what really goes on behind the scenes, slash between the camera shots on these strange channels, it would be great to hear from you. Nice. doing so. We received countless emails which were all super helpful, yet one email stood out as being incredibly unique. That email was incredibly from one of the cameramen who works for one of these larger Southeast Asian primitive Ooh. building channels. His name and the channel he works for have both been blurred out, as it'd be a little unfair for him to get in trouble for simply trying to help out. But the email began by stating, as you may have suspected, it's not as streamlined as the video would suggest. It is a large operation, as you may suspect, with a large team of us behind it. After he then offered to answer any questions we had about their channel, we attempted to figure out- Why would this guy put his job on the line to say this though? It seems so bizarre. You know? How many different people will work on the actual construction part of the project from start to finish, to which he would respond, it is depending on the scale of the project, but no less than one dozen or more, before going on to explain that within his team, there is a director for the acting done. There is also a hired architect to obviously make sure the structure will not collapse and will last long enough to film in, and obviously afterwards many editors are involved. In case an email from someone who works from one of these primitive builders isn't enough evidence, it's time to introduce a different channel called Photo Expression, who incredibly stumbled upon one of these primitive construction sites before capturing over eight minutes of footage with a drone. That's cool. I never thought about that. After they do it, they just leave it there. I guess you wouldn't dismantle it, right? Just kind of fucking leave that. Imagine just walking around, going for the old stroll and seeing a fucking house 10 feet under the ground. <laughs> we refer to different parts of this footage throughout our video. Could you move into it? Do you get squatters rights? Uh. Video, but for now, it can answer the question of how many people are really working on these sites. There's initially a clip where eight different workers can be seen standing oh, around shit. a rectangular hole in the jungle, followed by another grainier clip from a far distance, where somewhere between seven and ten people can be seen building a swimming pool. If they were honest about how many people were working on each project, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. But it should be noted that some of these videos. Nah, I wonder if that could make cool content of like, hey, we're just making a fucking house with 20 people in here. Oh, maybe specifically state in the description that I've been working hard with my two friends about 100 days to completely build, when in reality, it's a whole team working for only three to 10 days depending on the project, as mentioned in the email <laughs> response from the cameraman. Hey, listen. Yeah, it's interesting that they're fake. I just don't care. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, this is interesting, but who fucking cares? I don't give a shit. It's just like, that's cool. Unfortunate, I guess, you know? So if they're being untruthful about the time period as well as how many people are working on each project, what else are they like? Why get so detailed about the fucking bed? How weird is that? About Well, how about the incredible fire pits that they seem to create effortlessly? Going back to the statement made to us by Primitive Technology, he seemed to imply that maybe the fire making in their videos was fake. It's hardly surprising that he brought this up, as when you compare his meticulous method of creating fire in the wild to the fire making of these Southeast Asian primitive channels, as mentioned previously, it becomes comical. That's why you just have to find a wild lighter or wild matches and boom, fire is easy. Why does that like fucking... Wait, why would that? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Of Hold these on. Southeast Asian primitive channels, as mentioned previously, it becomes comical. I mean, unless they have some kind of, there's no way that would ignite that much. I'm an Eagle Scout, guys. I know a little bit of that. This makes no sense. That wouldn't happen at all like that, unless you put some kind of fluid or, or something in there. That's just not how fires work. <laughs> they put some kind of fluid in there. They slap a couple of rocks together before beginning an explosive fire on large logs with no kindling whatsoever. John went on yeah, to state that if they're fake happen. simpler things, then they're most certainly faking more complicated ones, which turns out to be true, as when looking at another video by Primitive Technology Idea, it becomes obvious that not only are these guys faking simple things such as fire, these guys are also faking the most labor-intensive exercise of all, the digging process itself. This yeah. video with over 63 million views begins as most do. A shirtless guy draws a big circle and begins to dig it out. Only in the next frame, suddenly there's spray paint on the ground that they forgot to rub out. Ooh, God. Additionally, on the wall of the hole, maybe somebody died and they just sprinkled their ashes over there. You know what I mean? You don't know. 
Um, you don't know. Well, these long, smooth cuts can be seen, which are completely incomparable to the cuts being made by the stick. True. Well, there's a reason for this. Turns out spray paint marks weren't the only thing- it, He's using his teeth as well. That's the reason for that. That they forgot to rub out, as in the minutes that- About to rub my dick out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Follow. Excavated tracks can be seen here, 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 and here. In a different video Damn. by the same channel, the same person can be seen working very hard digging out a similar hole, which to their credit contains no excavated tracks around it. One mistake they did make, however, was that they forgot to take the actual excavator out of the top right hand corner. According to Is that an excavator? Found it. One mistake they did make, however, was that they forgot to take the actual oh, excavator. Oh wait. Ha <laughs> ha wait, is that really an excavator? I guess I can't really see it too well. Maybe I see like the the bowl of those are out of the top right Maybe. corner. Okay. According to the email sent to us by the cameraman on one of these channels, approximately 70% of the digging is completed by machinery, whilst 30% is completed by hand, given how much of the work lies in simply digging. But men still do plenty of digging. As you may guess, in small underground spaces, it is impossible to fit a skid steel loader in the hole. Most of the yeah, actual construction true. is done by a high team of not that I would know. I don't know, but okay. Specialized builders, from my understanding, and they work with only intrinsic tools. The dirt is removed by skid steel loaders and offloaded elsewhere, and skid steel loaders are used in the initial boring process, whilst incrementally we film the builders doing superficial works on the hole. How much money do these videos make where they're like, this is worth it to an entire fucking three-day construction crew? The video in which the excavator can be seen in plain sight then goes on to strangely display the collection of concrete from a river, which is the exact same clip we used from the previous video. Now, why would- ah, Why would they use the same clip? Build water slide house around underground swimming pool. Build the most underground water slide house around swimming pool. Wait, that's, is that, that's two different videos? Is that two, they is that two different videos? Like, that's weird. Um, what? Build water slide house around. That's is that literally two different videos? There's one. Oh, what? this is so weird. Why would they title them so similarly? Build the most underground water slide house around swimming pool oh those are two different videos so this is <laughs> this video is one and then this video is the other they're so similarly titled okay whatever we use the same clip twice in two different videos. Well, it's because collecting concrete from a river is completely and utterly bogus. Concrete doesn't grow in a river, according to a civil engineer who had commented on one of these videos. Earth cement, this is incredibly fake. Cement requires a precise combination of different raw materials and then receives considerable heat treatment in order to make the powder we all know and love slash hate. What's even funnier is that every single one of these channels has their own unique method for creating natural concrete. This channel's concrete is simply a mix of dirt and water, which if you think about it for two seconds, doesn't create concrete and rather creates muddy water or mud, which is just dirt. Yeah, true. Is the argument is like the logic that it'll dry up? I don't understand. But after the water dries, this other channel gets a little bit more creative with it by taking a chunk out of a termite nest, grinding it down into powder, mixing it with water, then concreting an entire and then sniffing it <gasps> by a pool with this small chunk of termite nest. Yet neither of these compared to the fakest channel of them all, primitive technology life, which decides to just skip the concrete altogether and go with good old rocks and dirt. However, that's not the only suspicious thing about this shot. You'll notice when looking at the bamboo that each branch has a suspiciously clean cut on the end. Compare this to primitive technology, the legitimate channel from Australia, who in one video displays what the end of a log should actually look like, and you'll notice pretty quickly that that these pieces of bamboo weren't naturally cut on site. These pieces of bamboo- Wow, people must be really fucking dumb to believe this. I mean, or I guess they just like me, like most people just don't care. It's like, oh, it's like one of those things where it's like, if you put any thought effort into it, you'd realize it was fake, but we just don't really care. So we don't put any of the thought effort into it because it's just cool, you know? And I think that's the magic of these channels, you know? Who cares? Are they still making these types of videos though? Oh my goodness. Is that a real alligator? Crocodile? I don't know. Let's see. Oh man, they, they, oh wow. Some of these are just not going very well for them. Oh, this is still really good. This is 2 million views, but this one had like two, a million views. This one only has a 58,000. You'd think that it would get more. Um, I guess they're becoming less and less worthwhile to make. I wonder why they've been falling off you wise. Interesting. Okay, I guess they didn't. They became less. Uh, 
Boo weren't yeah. either, which as displayed in the video, were attached together then used to siphon water from a river to the pool. Only there was no river. Photo Expression found the exact site of this pool, then stated in his video that in reality, the closest water source was more than six kilometers away. Whoa, what is that in American? Holy shit. Instead, he found a bunch of blue plastic piping attached to a tap in the ground. Going back to the email from the cameraman, the water for their channel just comes in cubic containers that is transported there. A very funny part is any scene where you see them sourcing water from some magnificent waterfall or lake, they're actually going somewhere perhaps hundreds of kilometers away and pretending to take it back. The video in which Photo Expression had stumbled upon various completed primitive builds also showed that after these channels are finished building, the sites are simply left to rot. This video doesn't speak for every Southeast Asian- Just like an old Disney park, six kilometers is 3.7 miles, wow primitive building channel, but in this particular case, rubbish was left everywhere, including, as you might guess, cement bags. The fact that the video is uh. a fake isn't the most concerning. It's the destruction of the land that's concerning. Now, if this was public rainforest, you could probably consider this a pretty big deal, but according to the cameraman's email, at least on their channel, every build is done on privately owned land, which is leased for the purposes of the video. If and the, the person's just like, yeah, leave it after. Uh, I have to tell you to fill it in. This is the case. Maybe photo expression is in the wrong for snooping around and filming on someone else's property. We're kidding, ah, of cares? course, but if the builds yeah. are being completed on privately owned land, it's a little narcissistic to comment on what they should and shouldn't do with it. Primitive Technology, the original legitimate Australian channel, put it best in his email to us when he said, my advice to people who really want to know if the techniques on display are legitimate is to put them into practice and see. If you can follow the steps and get a similar result, then it's probably legit. He added that these corner cutting channels are motivated by money and status alone, rather than a true interest in primitive technology. But wanting mm. to stay out of internet drama, We'll leave it up to the discerning viewer to decide what's real and what's not. Okay, well, cool video. I'm gonna check out this primitive technology guy real quick. Um, oh, he's got a good amount of videos. Good for him. I guess he, I guess he stood the test of time. He's just chilling. The best part is that this guy probably does. This guy just live outside and not give a fuck because that's cool. And then he just makes money. And like he probably like it's and he probably has a very low. Um, like keep rate, you know. So, okay, well, cool video. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face, but just as a friend, there's nothing weird about that. I want him to pee on my face.